Um, interesting game. I thought both teams opened up and were vulnerable in transition. Um, obviously, they have very, very good attacking players, and that gave us some issues early on. Um, but I thought we found ways into the game and <clears throat> created a couple of half chances, but we weren't as clean in the attacking end as we needed to be. And uh, the game really just ended up being back and forth. And um, I'm not sure either team deserved to win, so draw may have been a fair result. Uh, I don't know the extent of the injury yet, but it's obviously not good. Yeah. Yeah, it's concentration. <clears throat> it's concentration and um, uh, a really good ball by Pedro Santos and good finish, but preventable and just a concentration lapse. And we've had far too many of those. And certainly <clears throat> after we scored, uh, what did we score in the 40th minute or 42nd, yeah. somewhere around there? The emphasis for me was to not concede a goal just before halftime because we've conceded early in games, we've conceded just before halftime, we've conceded early in second half, and we've conceded late in games. And those are the goals that kill you. Uh, so, and again, our effort to strive for consistency, one of the things we have to do is close out halves and close out games. I do, I do. I think it is um, concentration because we had so many promising moments um, where we were able to get out of their first line of defending and really be able to run at them. And then out of those moments, we turn the ball over in, in times when guys are really committing themselves forward. As a result, now they counterattack and they're running at us with numbers and then it's a bit of emergency scrambling defending. And it's um, it's interesting how it's not like American football where you have an offense and a defense. It's all connected. If you play well offensively, then you are in better positions defensively. And it's if you play poorly offensively, you turn the ball over as your team's opening up and you're more exposed defensively. And I thought that was one of our <clears throat> big problems in the first half because we had a lot of really promising moments that didn't materialize. Uh, I don't really know. Uh, someone behind us said something, and the referee came over and waved a red card all over the place. I don't, I don't know what the, I don't know what was communicated to him. I don't know who he was supposed to be giving the card to. Um, it was, it was kind of like the game, just chaotic and didn't okay. seem to make sense. <laughs> okay, good, good. <coughs> it wasn't me. It wasn't me. I didn't say a word today. <coughs> Just waved them all over. I heard, I didn't hear this, but someone said that the announcer in the stadium said a red card's been given to the Colorado bench. So I'm not really sure uh, what was communicated to him or what his intent was. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't really talk about all the nonsense. I mean, I'm literally just trying to talk about guys being in positions and decisions they make and that sort of thing. So uh, strange game, strange choppy game, but we've seen so many of those this year, that this year that the emphasis for me is what we're doing once the ball's in play. He's very good. He's very good. His understanding of spacing and his awareness of where players are around him, um, 
that's the precursor to what you see. You see good passes, you see a good first touch, but it's because he knows where everything is at all times. And he's, um, he's a really good player. He's a really good player. He's a very intelligent player. And what we saw tonight, too, is that he's not the type of player who only cares about the on-the-ball stuff. I thought he worked extremely hard and won a number of tackles and won a number of tackles off Zellerian, who's one of the better players in the league. So I thought he gave a great account of himself tonight, and he's still working his way into fitness, altitude fitness, and that whole thing. So um, I'm, I'm very, very pleased with, with him. <clears throat> Yeah, I thought so. I thought um, Zellerian gave us a lot of problems. He's very mobile. He's a good passer with time, and he's a good passer under pressure. And that's really the mark of a good player. And he had a couple of balls tonight that I thought, even under the duress of the pressure that he had, he's still able to con um, compose himself and make good plays. Uh, obviously, he and Kucha are both very dangerous and very, very goal centric and goal oriented in how they play and I thought that in moments even when we weren't quite in the positions we needed to be I thought the scrambling to deal with them was was quite good uh, obviously he scored the early the early goal but I don't think he had too many other real very very uh, guilt edge chances <clears throat> Yeah, the, again, with things all being related, it was about trying to limit their time, limit their ability to face forward. And when you lose the ball in transition, when you don't expect to lose it, then people aren't necessarily in positions to deal with that. So uh, again, as things are, are related, um, we turn promising attacks into their promising attacks by turnovers and not being close enough to to their, some of their really good players so that they could start their attack. And, uh, you know, it's the kind of thing where if we don't expect to lose the ball, yes, we want to be in position behind the ball, but at times when you lose the ball earlier than you expect to based on the lack of pressure of the player on the ball, uh, then teams get caught out. And I thought <clears throat> both teams were a little bit exposed in that manner tonight when they turned the ball over. The other team was able to gain speed and actually mount attacks.